first, 17 formations and representative teams of foreign troops will march past Tiananmen Rostrum. Never before has Johnny invited foreign troops to join in the parade. The Afghan representative team, led by Lieutenant Colonel Abdul Rahim from the Guard of Honor. Passing through now is the formation of Belarus. Leading the formation is Colonel Rasu Anatoly, a garrison commander. the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. They are left by Lieutenant Colonel Jose Luis Peraza, Captain of the Honor Guard. Egyptian formation, Colonel Ahmad Abdelaziz Mohammed Ali Al Sayyad leads the formation of Egyptian Armed Forces. The team of the Republic of Fiji Military Forces is led by Master Sergeant Wasaki Wasia Balay Ratu from the Strategic Command. Now the formation of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Leading the formation is Colonel Aldor Nerlan. He's Deputy Director of the Training Department General Staff Headquarters. And right now is the formation from Kyrgyzstan led by Colonel Isakov Daniel. Following behind is the formation from the Mexican Armed Forces. Lieutenant Colonel Jose Carlos Luna Loretta leads the formation. Pakistan Armed Forces Formation is led by Lieutenant Colonel Mohammad Tayyip. Marching 
forward now is the Serbian Armed Forces. Major Marko Majanovic is leading this formation. Colonel Maksumov Ehorn is leading the formation from Tajikistan. This is the representative team of Vanuatu. Lieutenant Boma Avia from the Mobile Force is leading this formation. Here comes the formation from Venezuela, led by Miguel Angel Hernandez Dugo. He's a military academy cadet. This is the Russian formation. It is led by senior captain Bobrov Dmitry Alexandrovich. There are 85 soldiers from the country's 154th Krivatchensky Independent Regiment, which serves as the official honor guard regiment of the Russian Armed Forces. The honor guards of this regiment also took part in Russia's Victory Day Parade in May were the first to march into Moscow's Red Square. The representatives of veterans of the Red Army of the Soviet Union, their descendants also attending the commemoration. Seventy years ago, many foreign soldiers and international friends fought along with China, including U.S. Flying Tigers Commander Claire Chennault, Canadian Doctor Norman Bethune, and Indian Doctor Dwakanat Kotnis.